Okay, page 90, let's go. 91st column. Okay, the Altarev is explaining over here that there's a Mahalchim. How does a person become a Mahalich versus a maid? So he says, through the level of Tfila, a person, and this is what Hashem says, I beg you, B'chukaisai, Telecho, through davening, you should take avena alicha ba'ena reich, and and you realize that there's no other good that exists in the world besides alukut. So we start five, six lines on the top of the page. First column, page ninety. Behind no b'chukay say telecho. Those are the obvious because we learned yesterday that the obvious were misakin the tefillas. Asher be'eva not. Yashu Mabchinus Mach Shavi Law of Asis Hakukim, the higher level of Asis Hakukim in Mach Shavam, Boyo Lacho, the Mamma should become one. Bimkadam, Bimkadam, Makema Mach Kukim Shav. And they become one with the place where the Nisham was carved out from Al Kain Bohem Yachal Hodam, Lavel Bachinus Siluch. Therefore, through the help of the Ovis, can a person become a Mahalech to the place, in other words, not only to the level of Aesius Machshava, that are like written letters, Machshava that's connected to the board, but rather in the engraved letters of Machshava, meaning the essence of the Neshama. You have to reveal it. To reveal it. Because, like he's, well, that exactly what he said, Avamachma is Gashmi, it's a goof. But now you have the Gashmi, it's the goof. It won't last this Chakika. Why? Because sometimes it could be so covered with mud that you don't, you look at the stone, you don't even see the letters. It doesn't mean it's not there. You don't have to create it. That's what the Rebbe always says. The Rebbe didn't like even the expression of kid, the expression they have kid of of bringing close to people that are far. And the Rebbe said many times, the Jew is never far. The very the letters are there. You just have to remove the dirt. It's not creating something within the Jew. Rabbi, they, our friends uh, try and they are very reactive to you, to any kind of suggestion of listening, listening to this. There's a rule in the Gemara. Dvarim ayetzim in alev, nechnosim al alev, upeilim pulosim. Words that come from the heart, enter the heart, and they have its effect. Sometimes, not saying anything, but sometimes it's, uh, if they would see that we really mean it, we really mean it for their benefit, it would have a, perhaps a, a bigger effect. Okay, Asher Dei, Keli Zet, Tikkun Lo'ad. So at first it says, Hashem says, is begging that through the level of tefillah, we should come to the level of hiluch, meaning from level to a deeper level, in a way a chakika. And then it says, you need to, that it mitzvah si tishmeru, hainu mitzvah, in ramach mitzvah, sasa, shasa, loy sasa. Okay, you have the 248 positive, 365 negative. The purpose of the 365 negative is to get rid of the evil. Don't eat this, don't do this, don't think this, don't say that this is what the 365 negative mitzvahs are. Meaning, to get rid of the evil. Don't deal with the evil. But the positive mitzvahs are called the Evadim, the Malka. That's a different Avaid. They're the limbs of the king, meaning. What is, why are they called the limbs of Hashem? Just like a purpose of a limb is to reveal the power of the neshama in that particular limb to function accordingly. So positive mitzvahs bring down the koyach of Hashem into the world to function properly. It brings down from the source of chayitz. Which is in the head. And from the head, it goes to the rest of the body. Because a positive mitzvah is a keli for the revelation of Hashem. 
that comes from the hidden of all hidden levels. Down here to the understanding of a low person, and that's called Yain Malchus Rav Kiyad Melech. Ain't Sof Laeri is Barech. That's the infinite level of Alukus. So he says like this: How do you have this level of Telechu in the way of Chakika? Because the Chera, the body is the mud covering all this. So he said, what you need to do. That's why you need to do mitzvahs. That's mitzvah say Tishmeru. Why? Because positive mitzvahs that he's referring to is the vessel to re- bring down a lukus, to reveal godliness in the world. And that is done with the physical body. So when you do a physical mitzvah, that removes a lot of the mud. The negative mitzvah also removes the mud. But by doing a positive mitzvah, you bring down a lot of light. And if you bring down a lot of light, darkness automatically becomes dispelled. Vukavon is a mitzvah. And that's the intent of the mitzvah. Laham shech eri is baruch lamata. Okay? See, bottom line is, mitzvahs accomplish to be able to reveal that level of hakika that every neshama has. That's why it's important to do mitzvahs, because mitzvahs actually connect the person to Hashem. They reveal the essential bond between a Jew and a mitzvah, in Hashem. Because, but nevertheless, there's zillions of details. But therefore, you have infinite levels of Taylor. You have learning Chumash, and then you have Mishnah, then you have Gemara, and then you have all the other zillion commentaries and all that. And the same thing is in mitzvahs, because you have different mitzvahs accomplishing different things. This mitzvah brings on this revelation, this mitzvah brings on this revelation. And like we learned, therefore there's 248 positive mitzvahs, Shem could have given us 20, 30, 40, because there's 248 different ways to bring godliness down into the world. And if you're missing one mitzvah, then you're lacking that particular gilu. And therefore, the neshama has had to come down. It has to come down again and again, like that Rizal says, to learn all parts of Teda, all mitzvahs, because then, except the mitzvahs of a king and things like that, because then you have all the revelations of Alukus in every part of your neshama. Like this today, Lamashal, we don't have all the mitzvahs of the Beis Amigdash, Korbanis, Toma Vitara, like it was in the time of the Beis Amigdash. So we're lacking those positive mitzvahs. So how can we come down and do it? What? How can we come down and do these mitzvahs? Well, no, because our neshamas are from previous generations. Those neshamas did those mitzvahs, and they're lacking other mitzvahs and whatever. Like it says in Tanya, that the earlier neshamas, when we learned, you find as history went on, you know, it's Taira, Tfil, and Tzedakah, right? So the initial time of Tanoim and Amiroim, their basic Aveda was Taira. Again, if you learn in the Gemara the stories how they kept mitzvahs, it was like you'd say barely uh, conservadox. You know, they didn't, because that wasn't their Aveda. Their Aveda was Taira. Later generations, it became the level of Tfila. Now our generation, Ikvisa de Meshicha, so you don't have Taira, you don't have the heart, Davening, so then you have action. So what's the uniqueness of today's generation? The mitzvah of tzedakah. They didn't have that opportunity years ago. They didn't have the money to give tzedakah. So now, that's generally in the world. It was Taira, Tefillah, and tzedakah. And every day, every person has, you know, all these three levels. So you need all those three uh, levels to, be, to complete the neshama. And until then, the neshama got to keep coming down again and again and again. It's not true. The Rambam writes in his Agdama that in the time of the Gemara, there are tens of thousands of people that were learning, learning all day. The Rambam writes in the Agdama. There's a lot of Tanoim and Amiroim, a lot of people that were learning Torah all day. Learn, learn the 
they still come back to do them? Yeah. You have, Rav Rizal says, you have to learn all of Teda and keep all of Teda. Apply. So you have to come down until all that is accomplished. He also says you have to teach it? Learn all of it? Yeah. Lumed, ulalamed, lishma, velasis, ulakayim. What do you say in Davini? To keep... Every 600,000 people have to do the same thing. No, not the king. They all have to do... Uh, they have to all do all the, of Torah mitzvahs, yeah. yeah. Except the mitzvahs of a king, and the certain place says a koyanim, koyin gadol. Like not everybody could be a koyin gadol. There's certain mitzvahs only connected to a koyin gadol. So then the king mamlach atom till mamlach is koyanim. So every Jew is a melech, every Jew is a koyin. So they're able to fulfill their obligations of that sort. But every Jew now, every Jew has a unique mitzvah which is their pet mitzvah, which is the key to all the other mitzvahs. Like it says in the Gemara, Avuch b'may havazor tzvei. What mitzvah was your father most meticulous with? So yeah, we have to do all mitzvahs, but there are certain people that have, this is their pet mitzvah, this is their key mitzvah, which is the key to all other mitzvahs. In another place in the Chassidus, it says, how do you know which is the most important mitzvah for you? The one that's hardest to do. That's why certain mitzvahs are hard for you, not for me. Some mitzvahs are hard for me, not for you. Why? Because the mitzvah that's hard for me, because the Yetzirah knows it's important, so it makes it more difficult for me. But for you, it's not that important, you know. Rabbi, for all one and we have the mitzvahs of the king, let's say, so the mere fact that the king does those mitzvahs that apply to him. He fulfills matter. us. He fulfills that's what I said, dude. Yeah. Therefore, it says about in the Megillah, right? He said there, same It's all the earl of Hashem, which is called wine. When wine comes in, the sod comes out, meaning when you have the observance of Torah mitzvahs, then the hidden level of the neshama, the the the, the pintle, whatever, or you know what the avamus tennis, that becomes revealed. Then it comes out the level of soul, which is avamus tennis. Asher tov el is gilui. That the Jew becomes this mahalech, loss of them kere hagavaya. That the neshama should go back to its super great level, which is higher than save of a mahalech, and therefore betachis yidi this eri is barich. What's the purpose of a lokus coming down here? La hashiv nefesh v'nitzis kol adam la mailin the level of rotz of a sheif. In other words, why does Alokus come down into this world in the level of Torah mitzvahs? Because this is to elevate the neshama that the Yid came down, down here. That's all the concept of Dira B'Tachtainim. Hashem, for whatever reason, wants the Dira B'Tachtainim. So he makes the Tachtainim, the lowest of levels. And then he says, but now that you're lowest level, you're full of mud. How do we unmud you? You clean. So that's the level of Teir Mitzvahs. To separate from the bad through Lai Sasa and to connect to the good through, through Lai Mitzvah Sase. And then the Neshama becomes a Mahalech. Because only, as the Siddha says, only down here can the Neshama be a Mahalech. Because only down here do you have Teir Mitzvahs. In Gan Eden, there's no Mahalchim. It says, Yelchum Michael Ochoyu, but it's level to level. It's the same, a little bit greater. But the jump you don't have only down here. Yeah, not by uh, going to the gym. And then what does it say, Hashem say? When you have this, the pasuk continues. I will be the mahalach in you. In other words, the mahalach is Hashem in us, in a level of rotzav 
שאני בעצמי אהיה מעל בחינוך ואי די זה ואי איסי לוחם ללקים. And to this we internalize the level of Hashem. In other words, in order for something like we say in Davening, Elokeinu. Elokeinu means it's ours. If it's ours, it means we're one with it. If we're not one with it, it's not ours. It's not, huh? Oh, it's not ours. So the whole concept is that it becomes Elokeinu, Malkeinu, but uh, well, like he says, Vayisi lochem leloikim means we own it. What do you mean we own it? It's mine. It's not that there's me and there's Hashem. That there's like there's me and there's Judaism. The, the, the Judaism and the person is the same entity. That's the whole accomplishment of Torah Mitzvahs. That he becomes our God. This is my God. What? Our Rebbe. That means, because if it's not one with us, it's not Rebbeinu. He say Rebbe. No. Is this a contradiction to no. Hashem said? No. <laughs> when Hashem <laughs> says, no, when Hashem says that, I'm going to say my Malach, and from now on my Malach. That's when the Yidin sin. Yeah, I know. No, it's not it's a contradiction. No. At the same level of Gilu, it's not there. You don't have the same Gilui so in the time of Golos and there is in the time of Mignosh. Nevertheless, the Malach is Hashem's Shliach. So when we do the Kaisai, Hashem is a Salachti? Yeah, that's, no, then it's a Salachti. When a Jew does Terim Mitzvah, they go out of the Golos. The problem is a minute later, we're back into it. Like you said, the same mouth that the minute is learning Terim, and the next minute can speak Lashon Hara. The same hand he gave Tzedakah can, can hit somebody. So it's, you know, the ultimate goal is to, to be good 24-7. Um, this is what the Pasuk says. You're going to what, guard the wine. That this sort of avum is the tennis. She become a mahalich, me yem li yem, maila maila, every day to a higher level. In other words, what Al Tareb is saying is like this practically speaking, if, if you're not better today than you were yesterday, you're not a mahalach. Then you're aimed in. Right? And not only you're aimed in, but according to Psukim, like it says, Hashem said, if you leave my turf for a day, then you're two days behind. So. But there's another. One step back. I understand. But the bottom line is if today you're not a Mahalach compared to yesterday's level, then you're in them. Then you went, you degraded yourself from Mahalach to Aimit. If you work on yourselves more than yesterday. If you work on yourselves, you do more good deeds today than yesterday. And without this, and then you think in your own eyes, you're super great. And then you'll never come to the level of because what's the level of Bachai crying? It means that you're yearning for something, you're missing something, you're longing for something. If you don't cry, it means spiritually. That means you're not longing for something. It needs to be a longing that the person should want to become better. Gibachinus Halicha. Yavilabchinus Rachmim Rabniki says by Yosef, Livkes Bachadre Libe. Maybe you also want to cry in the in the room, I mean to cry in the depth of your heart. of the distance, the way you are from Hashem. We learned it many times. The Rebbe says it's, it's, the Medr says in Gashmis, but it's in Ruchni also. Mishi it's a You have one hundred dollars, you want two hundred. You have two hundred, you want four hundred. 
So the Rebbe asks, everybody knows that. If you have a hundred dollars, you know, you want two hundred dollars. You want two, you're more, you're in prison, never happy. You okay, have enough money, that's it. You always want more. What's the Medrash teaching us? So the Rebbe tell, takes the Medrash in the opposite way. The Medrash says, if you have a hundred, you, you want two hundred. That means, if you don't want two hundred, you don't even have a hundred. That's what the Medrash is telling us. It's, it's phenomenal. It's not that the Medrash is saying you have a hundred, you, you want two hundred. The Medrash is saying if you don't want two hundred, that means you don't have one hundred. Which means in simple English, if you don't want to grow, it's a little sharp, but if you don't want to grow in Yiddishkeit, you have no Yiddishkeit. That's what the Medrash says. What? Why does he also uh, compare Rikhia from Hashem to Bechia of uh, Yosef, which was totally not, not the concept? It was. Kinech Murachma. Yeah. Why? From the distance that he was away from his brothers. No. Yeah, and his father. Yeah. No. Because what do you mean, no? Why do you have to cry? You see, you see somebody, why are you crying? No, because his brothers said, I named all my children after you. So? You didn't have to go into the room for that. But you should be happy. He had found his lost, long lost brother, and he, have an, uh, he sees his brother uh, remembered him the whole time. The Why is he crying? He was greater than all of them. They should cry that they're away from him. You cry because of the tactics sometimes. But that's him. not, it doesn't say he cried from joy. Because Yosef Avinu, when the brothers did tshuva and they came back, Yosef was the Rebbe. Nei katsen Yosef. When Yosef saw that the brothers did tshuva, yeah, and they really meant it, that's when nichmu rachmov. That's from joy. What? He was joyful. No, but it was deeper than that. That awakened in the private levels of Chavayeve Achadra, it revealed a deeper level of alokus that's normally concealed and now is becoming revealed. And Yosef Of course, he learned chassidus. <coughs> I'm saying, Yosef didn't learn Lukut the Torah, of course he learned Lukut the Torah. Now we also learn we cannot express yourself in Torah. Yeah, but again, that's because you need to say something that you can't. It's all a, a concept of yearning. Did Yosef learn Torah? Did Yosef learn Torah? Of course he did. Yaakov Avinu taught Yosef Torah. No, Eda told this Yaakov Yosef. Whatever Yaakov knew, he taught to Yosef. No. Where is Yosef buried? In Shechem. I know. Did they move him, or did no. he? No. still there. Still there. So all these attacks, he allows all these attacks. There's a lot of levels that, the, and Hashem lets a Holocaust. Hashem lets uh, 18 kids and three adults die in Texas. Yes. Yeah, yeah obviously yes. Why? You and I ain't gonna know why. But I'll tell you one thing, Hashem knows what he's doing. And it's good. Now, I, to me and you, it looks pretty bad. That's our problem, not his. Well, we need to be a partner in this world. Just to say that Hashem but by the way, uh, even though that's what it is, but Hashem nevertheless wants us to scream at him that it's not good, what he did. Hashem wants the Jew to say, what's a, what's a spiritual meaning of Yosef being? Kedusha is being attacked by evil. Why Yosef? Because Yosef is Nei Katsen Yosef. In the time of Golos, Yosef is the leader of the Jewish people. He presides. Then you come to the level of joy, like it says, Tacha Sashele Vadata Sashem Alakacha, Besimcho Tovlev Avmerev Kel. So then eventually when you get out of this golos, you become a mahalach, so then you get the level of simcha. That you elevate him like you said before. Um, 
the pasuk said, "Bereya Adra Yira, he'll take care of the the, 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 the flock, and he'll pick him up." Uh, like his bezrei kabis so with his hand will pick up pick up the sh- uh, the chek in his bosom will pick up the the lambs, and then you become yeva and nohat machshav ilah miyochad b'mochav asmosi is baruch hakadosh moved. So bottom line is that this is what the pasuk is saying over here in bechukesi telechu. Why is Hashem begging us to keep mitzvahs, and why is He using the expression bechukesi, and why is He using the word telechu? Normally, it should say, you keep mitzvahs. You don't say halichas ha-mitzvahs. You say shmiras ha-mitzvahs. Keeping mitzvahs. You don't say going mitzvahs. So the Al-Trebbe asked him the three words. Why im? Why b'chuk kaysa? Why telech? So the Al-Trebbe explained the whole thing, that this refers to the neshama coming down here. And the neshama is needing to go back to the level of hakika, to the level of where it originally came from before it came down to the body. But this is only done in the way of telechu, and that can only be done by only keeping mitzvahs. So now that was explaining this passage represents the level of the neshama coming into the world. And Hashem says, I beg you to become a telechu in a way that you should become hakika. And only through mitzvahs to become telech. Torah mitzvahs. But it's different. Torah is indirectly dealing with Gashmias, and mitzvahs deal directly with Gashmias. In other words, in Chesidus it says that when a person learns Torah about cows, in a makiftika level, they're elevating cows. It's not the same elevation of a cow when you shecht it, the need of Shem, you know, all that, because that's obviously more direct. But yeah, learning to also elevates the world, but in an indirect way versus mitzvahs, which is a direct way. Sure. When a person gets older, are they weaker? Yes. Generally speaking, they're weaker. Physically, yes. yes. Not you. Yes. Normal people. <laughs> you can become weaker. Yes. Now, what, why is that? The neshama got weaker? Yes. What happened? The is that safer than mamala? The general weakness. No. Not the eyes don't see and the ears don't hear. <laughs> no. You need hearing aids. It's, it's mamala. No! That the neshama is giving life to the body? Yeah, the body it, the is, the, is, the, is there in full force. The, the person is fully alive. It's the malala part that's the weakening. Is not change. The sevev weakens because the general body is weaker. Not any particular limb. The general body is weaker. No, it's not. Because the... It's not that Savior changes, and the Shema doesn't change. But the level of Chayis Kloli is a muscle of Savior. Chayis Prati is a muscle of Mamala. Now, Chayis Kloli is a level of Savior, correct? Does the Chayis Kloli weaken? No. Yes. No. Are you weaker? That's, 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 the, that's, that's Mamala. That's Chayis Prati. That's no. Seviv is affected by, by Mamala because if the general, the highest Kloli is not revealed in the body like it is when they're younger. It's not only the eye and the nose and the mouth and the ears. The whole, there's a general weakness. There's like, it's missing the vitality. The Ben of Achayis says at the beginning of Precious, the second you're born, you begin to dry out. But, the good, but therefore the nisham is less revealed in the birth. The chai is kloli, which is keeping the person alive, that aspect because the body, even seviv, do garments have to fit you? Why? If it's seviv, why does it have to fit you? Because it's safe if that's connected to mamala. Housing doesn't have to fit you. So when mamala shrinks, so the rest shrink with it. 
when Mamal is shrinks automatically, the Chayis Kali also becomes affected. Not in the Shama. The, the amount in the Shama is functioning in the body is less because there's less Kali. Sevev Kolalman is still a Kali. It's a Makadik Kali, but it's still a Kali. The Nishama can be Machaya, a nobody. In many ways, the Nishama gets stronger as you become, as you become more If you do turn mitzvahs, then the Nef Shalikis becomes stronger. This is even about the Nef Shabamis. Zoom class A.